Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Alpha Male Podcast. One man's perspective on what it is to be a man, and what it is to be an alpha male. First and foremost, I'm a Christian, and that comes out in everything I do, hopefully. And this podcast is no different, so keep in mind that we're coming at this from a Christian perspective. In addition to being a Christian, I am a firearms instructor and tactics instructor for the federal government for one of the uh, three-letter government agencies. We'll leave it at that. I am uh, have been blessed also to be a Marine Corps combat veteran. Did a couple tours in Iraq, fought a couple wars. Also a former LAPD. Um, some other things in there, we're not going to get into that. That's just a little bit about my background. Uh, Today's podcast, we're going to talk about manly skills, what skills every man should possess. Whether you're an accountant in New York City, or you hunt gators in the Louisiana swamps, or you're a cowboy out in Colorado, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, every man, I believe, should have these skills. Number one, physical fitness. These bodies are a gift. If somebody gives you something, it's your obligation to take care of it. Now, I don't care what kind of fitness it is, but if you're a man, you need to be in some kind of physical shape. I'll give you a pass if you're like over 70, but any man under 70 ought to be doing something for physical fitness. Whatever that thing is, if that's running for you, that's great. If that's weightlifting for you, that's great. Um... You know, I, I'm a kind of a well-rounded approach kind of guy. All of the above, weightlifting, working out, running, um, all that kind of stuff. But whatever, whether it's CrossFit, whether it's riding a bike, you know, I don't care if it's just going for a walk around the block. Whatever it is, as men, we should be striving to be better every day in all aspects, spiritually, mentally, physically. So physical fitness is an important aspect. How are you going to expect other men... How are you going to be an alpha male and expect other men to respect you when you don't respect your own body? How are you going to expect a woman to see you as that alpha male, to see you as being at the top, to to respect you when you don't respect yourself? Now, you may not like that, but that's the truth. So physical fitness, whatever form that takes for you. So, skill number two, I think every man should have the ability to make a fire with more than like a lighter and lighter fluid so learn another way to make a fire making fire is part of being a man from thousands of years past if you're a man you should know how to make a fire so don't just i mean youtube's a great thing and we're blessed to live in that age but don't just assume that you can do it because you've seen somebody else do it actually go out and practice and learn how to make a fire some other way than the conventional way of a lighter and like lighter fluid. Learn how to build a fire, how to make a fire. So that is my second skill, making a fire. The next skill, self-defense. Now, this I'm going to say applies to almost all men. Unless for moral reasons you're a pacifist, then I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that you can't be a pacifist and be a man. I think that that is true. But if you're not a pacifist, I think it's your responsibility to protect yourself and protect others in society. And to do that, you need to know self-defense. Defense Defense of yourself and defense of others. Whatever form that takes. Like I mentioned, I'm a firearms instructor. That's my full-time business. I'm very blessed that I'm very blessed to be able to do that and to be able to teach that. So obviously I think firearms are important. But if you don't, that's fine. But... I think self-defense starts with a physical body. So I think every man ought to know how to throw a punch, deliver a kick, choke somebody. I think that's something that every man ought to know. Those basic skills of hand-to-hand combat. I think whether you're good with a weapon or not, every man should know hand-to-hand combat, at least the basics. And I think it's every man's responsibility, unless you're a pacifist, to know how to use a weapon. Like I said, I'm a gun guy. If you're not a gun guy, if you're for some reason opposed to guns, I'm not going to say that you can't be a man and, and if to be a man you have to like guns and know how to shoot guns. I would say that whether you like guns or not, you ought to know some basic gun safety in case you find one or you come across one you need to know how to unload it or handle it safely. So you should know basic gun safety whether you're opposed to shooting guns or not. But some kind of weapons training. 
whether that's archery, whether that's, you know, picking up a stick, to any kind of weapon that you could think of, knife fighting, learn some basic hand-to-hand combat as a skill as a man, and learn how to use some kind of weapon as a man. I prefer that you learn all of those things and learn multiple weapons, rifle, pistol, shotgun, knife, sharp stick, you know, whatever it is. Learn how to use it and be good with it. To be that alpha male, you should know how to protect yourself and protect those you love. And even the people, even strangers, protect your neighbor. Learn how to do that. I believe that's an alpha male skill. Like I said, if you're morally a pacifist, that's fine. But if you're not, learn those skills. The next one. I believe every man ought to know some basic vehicle maintenance. So, I'm talking basic. You don't have to go crazy with it. If you like this and you want to pursue it, that's fine. But uh, every man, I believe, ought to know how to change oil in a car. Every man should know how to change a tire. I don't care if you have AAA. What if you don't have cell service? What if you're somewhere where AAA can't get to? You need to know how to change a tire. Every man ought to know how to do that. You ought to know how to jump a car. Basic, basic car stuff. If you want to go further than that, that's great. But I think every man ought to know basic car maintenance and emergency stuff for cars. Because, except for the very rare exception, unless you live in like Manhattan and you've never driven a car and you're never going to drive a car, that's part of our daily lives as a man to be able to help out ourselves and help out others. You should know those basic vehicle skills. The next one I have on here is knot tying. Now you don't have to get crazy. You don't have to learn how to tie a hundred different knots. If you want to, that's great. But knowing some basic knots, a square knot, a figure eight knot, learn how to uh, splice two pieces of rope together. Learn the bowlin. The bowlin is probably one of the most beneficial knots you can learn. Um, so learn some basic knots. Don't just assume you know how to tie a knot because you can tie your shoes. Learn a couple of really good, really useful knots. A polymer knot, a bowling knot, knots, uh, you know, a masthead knot. Any kind of good, pick a couple, you know, half a dozen, five, seven knots. Good, solid, useful knots and learn those and know those. Practice them. So knot tying, another skill I think every man should know. The next one, and sadly, this is a skill. These two, these next two skills are skills that we all used to learn in school as boys. And I don't think that most schools do this anymore, and I think it's a shame. Not that it's a school's responsibility. I think it's your father's responsibility if you have one to teach you this. And if you don't, it's still your responsibility as a man to learn these two skills. But basic carpentry. A lot of us that grow up in a you know blue-collar families, we take it for granted that everybody just knows how to swing a hammer. But if you've ever watched somebody try to drive a nail that doesn't know how, it's almost comical, and it shouldn't be that way. Every man should know how to swing a hammer, should know basic carpentry. If you need to build a doghouse, you should know how to build a doghouse. If you need to build a shelf, you should know how to do that. If you know, you should know, you know, what nails and screws go in drywall and which ones don't. You know, you need to know what kind of hammer is used for what. So basic carpentry skills and basic metallurgy skills. If you do more than the basics, that's fine, but learn how to drive a rivet. Learn how to put two pieces of metal together. Learn, you know, the difference between uh, different kinds of metals and how they go together. Learn, if you want to learn basic welding, you know, great skills. Basic metallurgy and basic carpentry, I think, skills every man should know. The next one ties into that basic knowledge and a basic toolkit something every man should have you should know the difference between a flathead and a phillips head screwdriver you should know what an allen wrench is you should know what a vice grip is and what you use it for okay unless you absolutely have to don't be the guy that uses the pocket knife to turn a screw know the proper tool for the proper use so no basic tools, know how to measure something, know, you know, the basic ins and outs of tools and how they work. And have that basic toolkit in your house, in your car, so that you can take care of stuff when it comes around. I think that's something every every man should have the ability to do. Basic fix it stuff. Basic handyman work. This next one, basic first aid. 
okay? Every man should know this to take care of, not usually not yourself, but usually other people when they're in need, okay? There's a reason why every soldier, every one uh, police officers, any kind of person that has any kind of responsibility, generally part of their training is first aid. And you should learn basic CPR. The Red Cross certification for CPR is not that hard. I just went back through it. It's like a four-hour class. Um, basic CPR. Learn how to use a tourniquet. Learn how to make a hasty tourniquet. Learn how tourniquets work. It's not like on the movies you just throw a belt on something. You got to actually know how it works and how to apply pressure to it. Learn how to apply a basic pressure dressing if somebody's bleeding. Learn uh, basic skills like that. How to clean a wound. Basic, basic first aid stuff. So I think that's a skill that every man should know. Basic first aid, basic emergency medicine. The next skill I have is learn how to use and sharpen a knife. No matter what kind of man you are, whether you're you know, more of the uh, white collar and you wear dress shoes and slacks or you're riding fences out on the prairie, it doesn't really matter. Every man, I think, should carry a knife unless for some reason you can't on a daily basis. Carry a knife, know how to use a knife, know how to cut different things, know what different knives are used for, and know how to sharpen a knife. You don't have to be able to shave with it, but know how is a, with a basic whetstone or even with a ceramic bowl or with something improvised, how to sharpen and use a knife. I think that's a skill that every young boy, every man should know, how to use and sharpen a knife. Now before I get into the last two skills that uh, I have that all men should know, there's a couple that I left off this list that I initially put on Um, Because I don't think they universally apply. They might apply to most men, but not all. Like, uh, I initially had on there hunting and fishing. But, you know, if you live in the Mojave Desert, you don't... You can still be a man and not know how to fish. Or, let's say that you live... You are that accountant and you live in New York City. Probably not feasible that you're going to learn how to hunt. And I don't think you need to know that to be a man. Um, I think if you have the ability, even if you don't think that you want to do it, learn how to hunt. It's a great skill. You learn a lot about yourself as a man and as a human being, uh, just being out in the wilderness. So basic nature skills I didn't put on there because you might not be in that environment. I just take that for granted that, you know, men hunt. But uh, also another one I didn't put on there is uh, knowing how to butcher an animal. Like I said, if you live in the in the middle of the city in Los Angeles, you're probably never going to butcher a deer. You're probably never going to skin an animal. Um, and that's okay. You don't have to do that to be a man. Um, so I left that off, but I try to make these universally. So if you're critiquing on this, I encourage your feedback on this if there's any skills that I left off. But just make sure that they're universal and that pretty much every it should apply to every man. Um, and not just men like you and your environment. Like I take it for granted that uh, men just shoot. Like all the men that I'm around, we shoot. That's what we do. But that might not be the environment that you're in and that's fine. I don't think you have to do that to be a man. So uh, when you're critiquing and you're thinking about skills, keep that in mind universally for all men. So the next two skills I think are the most important. So the next one I'm going to talk about is teaching. I think men should be teachers. I think men, these skills that you have, once you acquire these skills, if you have these skills... You need to pass them on to the next generation. That's part of being a man, is to help use these skills to help and teach others to make them better, make uh, boys better men, and take care of the women in our lives. I think that ability to teach is innate in all men. Think about this. If uh, all your ancestors through history, all those men, they taught their sons how to do these things, and you should likewise teach your sons how to do these things if you don't have sons or you didn't have a father teach the men in your life if you're better at something than they are then be that good teacher and teach somebody else and part of being a good teacher is being a good student if you don't know something go to that mentor and learn from them so be a mentor and be a teacher that's the next skill that i think universally applies and the next one is kind of vague but be a strong and courageous leader as a man and as an alpha male you need to be a strong and courageous leader whatever that means for you 
but part of being a man is being a leader. Part of being a good leader is knowing when to let somebody else lead as well. If somebody's better at something, then you put them in charge of that. I don't mean being bossy. I don't mean being arrogant. I mean being a strong, confident, courageous leader. I think that's part of being an alpha male and every male should strive for that. So these are the skills that I've come up with on my skills that every I think every man should be good and know and be proficient in. Like I said, I encourage debate. So uh, the best way to leave your comments for everyone to hear and everyone to see is to put a review of the podcast on iTunes and then in that review write, I think, you know, be honest, say, I think I agree with these skills, I don't agree with them. Whatever it is, just leave a review, rate the podcast, and when you put your comments in there, everybody else will be able to see what you wrote and what you commented. So if you'd like to do that, please leave those reviews and uh, comments on iTunes or whatever, however you're listening to this podcast, but iTunes is the most common. And uh, thanks for listening to the Alpha Male Podcast. Again, uh, I'm your host, Michael, and I look forward to uh, you listening to me next time. Thank you, and have a blessed day.